Today I want to bring you to one of the least visited temples within the Angkor Wat Archaeological Park. This temple is called Bang Malaya. This temple is located about 60 km from city centre of Siem Reap. Hence, it's one of the least visited temples among tourists who comes to visit Angkor Wat Archaeological Park. If you take a tuk-tuk, it takes about 2 hours to reach this temple. But if you take a private car, it takes about less than an hour. Let me provide you with a context to make the storyline of my videos a lot more easier for you. So during the Khmer Empire or the Empire of Angkor back then, there are mainly two characters. The first being Surya Varman II. So he is often mistaken as the founder of Empire of Angkor, but in fact he's not. The actual uh, founder uh, is uh, Jaya Varman II. So, but during the time of Surya Varman II, uh, Angkor Wat was built, major temples, the bigger ones, was built during his time. And uh, during his administration, is often associated with the religion of Hindu. Hence, you can still see the elements of Hinduism in temples du uh, built during his time, for example, in Angkor Wat and so on. The second important character in Empire of Angkor is uh, Jaya Varman VII. So, during the time of Jaya Varman VII, um, is always depicted as the um, peak of Empire of Angkor. During his time, he's often also told that uh, the, the conversion of religion started to happen from Hinduism to Buddhism. So temples built during uh, Jayavarman the seventh, um, uh, you could start to see the element of Buddhism uh, in, in those temples and also the infrastructure built during his time. This is called as Naga. A mystical creature which is often associated with the religion of Hindu and Buddhist. You can find the statues of this even up to today in temples as well as wats around the world. The first temple I visited in Siam Reap is called Bang Malila. So Bang Malila is one of the temples which was uh, found the latest uh, in the deep forest of uh, Cambodia and it is the uh, it is the least uh, restored temple among all the temples that we have uh, uh, in the archaeological park of Angkor Wat and it is also the latest temple uh, which which has been uh, with the efforts of to put it under the UNESCO heritage site um, so when you visit this temple it's often empty in fact I'm all alone over here because uh, it is located uh, far off uh, as compared to other temples which are more central in the town of Siem Reap, such as Angkor Wat and so on. Um, so Bang Malila is, uh, uh, is still being studied. Um, uh, when exactly this temple was built is still unknown because uh, if, if you go back to the context I provided you earlier, um, you often uh, the temples uh, have either Hindu or a Buddhist element, but this temple have both apparently. So the uh, the theory or the speculation uh, is that this temple was built during the time of Surya Varman II, and uh, it was then modified during the time of Jaya Varman the Seventh. This place is huge. To provide you with a context, I'm about 165 cm. Yeah, I know I'm quite short for a guy. But anyway, if I go near to the corridor, I'm not even the height of that stone. So just imagine how high and enormous this place is. And it's not even Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is way bigger. There are also evidence that uh, this particular temple might be uh, one of the so-called HQ during the empire of Angkor. Uh, hence, like I mentioned before, they are still figuring out whether this temple was built even before Angkor Wat or uh, some other time during the administration of uh, other kings. So the evidence that they found uh, to say that this temple might be one of the main temples back then uh, is moat. So what's moat? 
basically it's the lake like or a river like around the temple uh, which which uh, shows the status of the temple um, as being one of the main temple or the HQ of an empire back then so Angkor Wat has that as well hence why they could figure out easily figure out that that is uh, basically a HQ of course it's enormous size also shows that it's one of the main temple but uh, the size of Bang Malila is definitely incomparable to what size of Angkor Wat but at the same time uh, some of these elements such as the mood um, um, the fact that it has some elements of Hinduism uh, is, is, uh, is showing uh, some some evidence that um, this temple might be built uh, even before uh, Angkor Wat or probably uh, before the time of uh, Jayavarma in the seventh, basically the time when Hinduism was still there in the empire of Angkor Wat. I've definitely pronounced the name of the temple wrongly a couple of times throughout this video. Bang Malay is definitely a temple that you should visit. It is slightly further as compared to other temples from the city centre of Siam Reap. Hence, it's often skipped by tourists who visit Angkor Wat Archaeological Park. Which makes it a lot more quieter. You can take great pictures in the ruins of the temple because this temple is relatively less restored as compared to other temples within the archaeological park. <laughs>